Hello, I am Betty and this is Julie. Hello. And we are your local wine shop at home representatives. And today we're gonna do something very fun and it could be very scary. I was going back into my wine cellar and I came upon a wine shop at home wine from 2003. Oh my God, this wine doesn't exist anymore. And right. perhaps it shouldn't exist anymore, <laughs> but we're gonna try it. It's either gonna be really amazing. Yeah. And, and what's funny is I I'm have really the scary. tasting notes from oh when gosh, we released them. it in 2006. Um, and so we're gonna first taste it without looking at the notes and then taste it looking at the notes and see, does it compete? So we still so, wanna do the swirly thing. Yeah, right? we gotta swirl, we gotta open it up. And I can see, Boy, it's pretty brown. So color yeah, wise, it has gone brown. Yeah. Smells Smell not too wise. bad. Well, little, I don't, I don't smell anything. Let's really open this puppy up and see what we get. I don't know, I'm afraid. Hmm. I'm not liking this the nose, but well, but let's yeah. try. It. Oh wait, cheers. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Nope. <laughs> nope. No, it didn't. It not, didn't do well. Not horrible. No, it wasn't horrible. But what? But almost. Here's what is the most amazing thing about this wine. Yeah. So wine shop at home, way back when, wasn't its own winery. We had other people who made wine for us, and back then we had a very famous local winemaker, Greg Graziano, right. make this wine for us. What blew my mind about this wine is. It is a blend of Barbera and Pinot Noir. I have to say that with the exception of sparkling wine, I've never seen Pinot Noir in a blend. Oh. So that really surprised me because Pinot Noir, you know, it is... It's a lighter wine. And right. it's the prima donna of wines. It likes to be by itself. It doesn't right. want to be with other wines. But you know what's funny is like, I could taste... Um, it's still there, but it's just that little tiny bit... Um, What's the right word? It's not acidic, but um, what is it when it starts? Past its prime. <laughs> yeah, a little bit past its prime. So it hasn't gone to vinegar yet, but... Not yet, but it could. It's but, on the verge. So what's interesting, Barbera is it's one of the most... One. That one usually lasts a while. And that's one of the most acidic red wines. In fact, it's why Barbera goes so beautifully with tomato-based acidic... Italian dishes. Right, like also buco. And yeah, pizza. and then and then of course Pinot Noir is, you know, a mushroomy, earthy, somewhat delicate, very nuanced wine. So those two coming together, what a unique combination. It is unique. Okay, here's what they say we should taste. Ripe berries, cedar, blackberry spice, in spite of it being past its prime. Let's see if we taste any of that. I already got the berries and some of the cedar, I think. A little bit. I definitely get the berries. The cedar's on the back end where you taste the... And I might get some spice. Mm -hmm. Maybe some black pepper. Mm -hmm. What do you yeah. think? Yeah, what do you think? definitely. Well, so... It was an amazing wine when it was... <laughs> yeah, so the, this is a fun experiment. Sometimes you have a wine that is past its prime and it's very sad, but it's always a learning experience and always an adventure. And you know what it means? we can now open up a new wine Yay! and have some fun. Okay, cheers. cheers. <laughs>